Hello everyone, welcome to CrotoFlick. I'm your host Chad Bradle and today I'd like to show you how to build your very own DIY slider. Um, I know there's a ton of them on the internet, but I like developing my own stuff and coming up with my own ideas and I think this one's uh, pretty effective. It looks more professional, it's not made out of wood. I think we got all the pieces we need here. Um, I'm gonna go through a list of everything you'll need and I'll place it in the description below. And uh, yeah, right now everything's just kind of laying on the floor. I've already built it. Um, I've just disassembled uh, part of it. I'm gonna show you how to put it together and then I'll do some test shots and you can see how it slides. Also, something I have tried differently. Well, originally I tried using uh, felt pads for sliders. Um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But I have replaced that with actual sliding feet for chairs and it works amazing. So, I guess without further ado, I will go through the list of parts you'll need. First, you'll need a 10 foot piece of 3 quarter inch PVC. Um, I bought mine at Home Depot. It was, I don't know, a little under two bucks. And since it's 10 foot, you can have them cut it in half uh, at Home Depot. I would have them cut it right at five foot. You will also need two 3 quarter inch cross pieces, which is these right here. You will need four 90 degree elbows. This is all 3 quarter inch. You'll need four slip caps, which is just these little caps here. And what I mean by slip is none of them have any threads. They're all designed to just slip on and glue. So they're all slip pieces. You'll also need four 45 degree elbows, which looks like that. You will need eight T's, which are these. And these are ridiculously cheap. They're like 33 cents. You will also need, uh, all right, this is where it comes down to your 10 foot piece of three corner PVC. You're gonna have to cut it in a bunch of little pieces. You have some long ones and you have some short ones for joining all of your uh, pieces together. Now, all these pieces that I use, I can't get them out. I shoved them on there really good. So, but these little connector pieces that you'll end up using, you'll end up sliding together, going like that. Each of these will be, oh, what do we got? One and five eighths of an inch. Uh, that's the length I set so you can actually close your pieces tightly together and they should butt up to each other. You also need two 41 and one quarter cut PVC lengths. These are the 41 and what is it? 41 and one quarter cut PVC lengths. Just need two of them. You'll also need two two and a half pieces of three quarter inch cut and two two and three eight inch. Two and two and three eighths of an inch cut. Now the two and a half, two and a half is going to end up going right onto this part and I'll show you uh, what part that is in just a second when I put it all together. And the two and three eighths inch is actually uh, part of the legs and you'll also see where that goes but this is the two and three eighths inch cut piece for this little piece right here. Now for the other things that you will need, you will need to go and buy a mainstays poly cutting board. This was at Walmart, I believe it was $2. It is 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches high. You will end up taking this and you end up cutting it you end up cutting a six by six square from it. That's what I came up with. You might be able to adjust yours, but um, that's just a square I came up with. It works out really well, and I'll show you as well. And then you will end up having a eight and a half inch, which is actually just the top part of this board right here. Eight and a half inch by five inches. So five inches this way. It'll end up being uh, something like that. Cut it across, and this will end up being your base in case you want to mount it onto your tripod. You will also need a couple brooms. Um, I bought two brooms from Family Dollar. They were $1.75 each. And they, um, that's what this was, was a broom. And on both ends, one end had a little plastic hanger hook, or hole, I should say, and the other end had the thread for screwing into the broom. Now you're gonna end up cutting off both of those ends, and you're gonna end up leaving a little bit of a plastic lip, because you don't wanna cut into the metal. You just wanna stay away from it. So you'll leave a little bit of a plastic lip on both ends, and when I cut mine, it came out to 42 and a quarter inch, 42 and a quarter inches long after I cut it on both of them. You will need uh, a minimum of 14 one inch screws, which are these little guys, uh, one eight pack of one inch sliding feet. Now, these are the sliding feet that I just showed you. I bought these at Family Dollar, and obviously they were a dollar. Uh, they're one inch in diameter, and I bought the ones that have the sticky pads. Um, the sticky pads aren't actually attached 
to the sliding feet. They come in a separate, oh, I'll show you. They come in a separate little part where you'll tear off these circles and then there's a uh, sheeting on both sides. You peel off and stick it on. Well, what I ended up doing was taking the plastic itself and separating it from this ba rubber bagging. And once you do that, you'll have a really thin plastic piece that you'll end up inserting inside of your tees. And, you know, I'll show you, once I put this all together, I'll show you what I mean as far as design. But yeah, you'll end up taking these little stickers after you separate them from the rubber. Oops. You'll attach them to the back side of the plastic and then you'll end up pushing it up here nice and, I guess, evenly as you can up on the top point. And this is what you'll end up sliding on. And so you'll get great adhesion. You won't need any glue. This entire thing, you probably won't need any glue. Um, you probably just want to use screws and it'll hold itself really well together. Oh, shoot, wait, all right. Um, one thing, I have a type of pipe here that is not three quarter inch PVC. This is something I had at my house and I believe it is one inch PEX, like a thin walled version of PEX. And you might not need this. Um, this will end up connecting because you're going to end up, what's going to end up ha happening here is you're going to end up having like this little square base and this is what is going to sit on. This is going to sit on this. But what you'll end up having though is when these pieces butt together here with this uh, and you need to slide your uh, pipe through, your broomstick through, your broomstick won't fit through the regular PVC but it will fit through this. And I use this to attach these so the broomstick will fit through and have a little space to wiggle. But you might not need that when you if you set it up right and then you screw your poly mount six by six square to it, it'll just, it should just hold it in place. But as far as where you can get this, I think Menards, but I, I have no idea how much it is. So it can't be much. PEX is usually really cheap for the piping that is, but I don't think you'll need it. So we'll see. I might end up having actually removing mine and adding uh, another set of sliding feet. We'll see. It, yeah. So, all right. Here's the assembly process. Oh, and this is what your uh, this is what your final uh, back part's gonna end up looking like. And I'll just put the other side together for you to see. Alrighty. That didn't take long at all, did it? Oh, um, another thing is when I go to put this together, you'll see, but uh, the piping that goes between these right here, this is the uh, two and a half inch piece, I believe, which does not have to be PEX. This just happens to be PEX, but it, you'll have enough for uh, regular three quarter inch PVC. But anyways, I stuffed mine with polyfill. That's optional, but um, I have put polyfill in a few areas of my pipe that, that I believe will help reduce sound resonation so it won't it won't be amplified when there is noise. So I've, I've pushed polyfill in here. Polyfill is just uh, filling for pillows and you can get a bag of it for like a dollar or uh, three seventy a bag I think. Looks like this. I think this was from Walmart. So, but yep, polyfill in here and I also shoved polyfill inside of my broomsticks and I uh, when I Cut off the end, I ended up having uh, a couple holes here. Maybe you'll have to drill yours out, I'm not sure. But I shoved polyfill mostly through this entire pipe, and I think that helped reduce noise as well. And continue. All right, so and this is gonna be the base. I'm gonna eventually come out this too, which will then have pipes running through it. And yeah, as you can see, the little slider feet are pushed up in here. When I took the uh, little plastic slider feet pieces off, I ended up you know bending them so they look like a Pringle, Pringle chip, and then attached my little adhesive pad to the back of that, and then pushed it up in here nice and firmly on all four points here, so it rests on the pipe well. Now for this, I mean, I didn't bother removing it, but uh, once you get it all together, you'll end up centering your eight and a half inch by five inch poly piece 
on these two three quarter inch pieces. You'll do this probably last, but just to show you, I set it on here. I, I measured it out, marked it, drew a couple center holes, and then I started that way, and then I worked my way of drilling pilot holes and attaching my screws. And then I also measured out for a very uh, a center hole for mounting to your tripod as well. So. Now, it's mostly together, as you can see right here. At the very mo at this very moment, this does not slide. So what I have to do is I have to twist these top 90 degree elbows a bit, and then it'll start loosening up. And you just keep adjusting it until it slides nice and smooth all the way across. It's almost like a I gotta adjust your glide cam or something with the weights but in this case it's adjusting the 90s but oh also when you go to put it together make sure you're on a flat surface and then see if the legs sit flat see but this one's touching over here so I'll just twist a little bit until it seems to sit flat like it should so that's still pretty still pretty rough but I'm gonna keep adjusting this until it's nice and smooth and then I'll come back to actually attaching the top plate to this and we'll have some footage. All right, I got it all adjusted now. So we slide nice and smooth. Um, something to note is that if you slide this fast, you will get some noise. I found that even with felt pads, like, but if you slide, if you slide it smooth, you get almost no noise at all. With felt pads, even if I slid it smooth, I still got like a, that, just, just felt, it just felt just makes noise, but these don't make much noise at all. But felt always makes noise. So anything you use felt on, I mean, those other DIY videos, most likely they have some noise in it. It's probably why there's always music playing when they're doing their sliding shots, mm -hmm, right? So, but this, this should do very well with smooth uh, shots. It makes almost no, no noise at all when you're sliding it smooth. And that is very important if you plan on recording audio directly from your camera. Um, if you're moving it fast, then um, I'm assuming you're not gonna use audio directly from your camera or you're gonna have some music playing or something. So it's give and take, but uh, Yep, slides nice and smooth. And now I need to attach my top plate. I've already drilled all my holes because um, I built this previously with felt and then I uh, redesigned it and decided to use the slider feet. All right, um, I think I'm mostly done. Um, if you put yours together and you still find that it catches a little bit, just try to adjust your 90s. Um, something else I did when I shut off the video and was doing my adjusting was the actual platform right here. I actually had to pull it apart a little bit. I just separate my two and a half inch pieces uh, just a, a little bit so that way it wasn't squeezing the pipe too much. So that's some, that might be something else you need to adjust. Uh, also, when you attach, attach your base plate, make sure it's on the bottom. My, my thought is that, uh, you know, you're setting it on the bottom and your force is coming up. You know, you don't want it sitting up here where your screws are at. I just, I mean, it just makes more sense if it's on the bottom. And plus it looks better, you don't have screws coming down here. Uh, I would also attach your tripod head last. That way it's uh, not in the way of drilling your pilot holes and putting your screws in. 
Um, yeah, I think uh, one of the things I'd say I'd point out later is how I did not glue these T pieces on both sides. The pieces themselves, I don't think you'll have to glue at all. I mean, as you can see, you're going to need to adjust the top legs. And if you ever want to adapt to this, you'll be able to just pull it apart and not have to buy all new pieces. What I would do is from the bottom side, once you get everything nice and smooth, I would drill pilot holes and countersink some small screws into your piping here and your three quarter inch, both from the bottom. It'll be more aesthetically pleasing. And, you know, I guess that's mainly it. I don't have screws sticking out, but that will um, also allow you to take this apart if you ever want to change out your sliding options. Let's say you find uh, some piping that's a little more sturdy or durable, or maybe you think will uh, improve on noise reduction perhaps. Um, then you'll be able to just take this apart and switch it out. Or if you ever want to make it longer, you'll be able to just take these right out of here. You know, you'll just be able to take your screws out, pull out the ends, and make it as long as you want, five feet or whatever. I think the sliding distance on this, let's see, I think it's two foot, no, nope, three foot. Like that? Almost three foot, four inches, so it's not too bad. Uh, yeah. So it just gives you some options to upgrade. I mean, you could go as, as far as, you know, even putting a couple bolts on the back side here, and putting some uh, pulley wheels and attaching it to this and a little handle and then you could have it manually move back and forth you know, if you want it smoother. So, all right, now I'll show you some test shots.